So here we are, just coming into Oxen Park from the Penny Bridge End. And you see this footpath sign over here. Village Hall, 250 metres. Well, there's a, a right enigma just down here. And I'm going to have to sort that out. So just down here, very overgrown little footpath this time around. There are all these mozzers. Do you see them? Iron mozzers from furnaces. Or oh, a furnace. Loads of them. Now, the enigma is where have they all come from and why are they here? Because as far as we know, we don't think there's an iron furnace or perhaps even a bloomery at Oxen Park. So, have these come from Penny Bridge Iron Furnace, which is about four or five miles down the road. And yet, why would anyone want to bring iron mozzers uphill, essentially, as papas from a place four or five miles away to here? That's the enigma. Oh, look at these blue plants. Look at these. Aren't they something? Ow. <laughs> it's very prickly, this footpath at the moment. <laughs> you see all the mozzers on that wall? You know, probably a good half cartload at least. And there's probably more under the under the bits that are so overgrown you can't even see the wall at the moment. So that's the question. Why? Why are they here? That's a right puzzle. So, if anybody who lives in the area knows the answer, please give us a, a tip off on the comments below or something like that. Or if you know somebody who might know, see if we can get the answer on that. Be good. And here we've just uh, sort of come out of the end of the overgrown bit of footpath onto a bit which is a bit more, a bit more civilised. And there's yet more mozzers. There. Do you see? There. 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 There's another one. They're not just on the uh, boundary of one house or dwelling either. Look, under this tree, there's enough mozzers here to suggest a considerable iron industry. But why would you bring them all the way from Penny Bridge, or Newland Furnace for that matter? You know, that is the enigma. The Oxen Park enigma. Yet more mozzers. To get half a cartload, we're talking about two cartloads now, I reckon I've seen. What's it all about? More mozzers. Look at that. Prolific amounts. It's all very bizarre. It's all very bizarre. The old post office. Post office letterbox. Marvellous. The steps up to nowhere now. What's that say? Private for the old post office only. Wonderful. And just across the road there. The old blacksmithy. And just here is the sort of framework and 
chassis for, I imagine it would have been one of those huge great stone grinding wheels, perhaps. Or maybe a hooping mill for making hoops. See the scratches on the rock where perhaps someone's tested the blade of a chisel or a bolster that's been sharpened or made here. A hook maybe to tether the horse while it was being shooed. You see the pintle hinges on the on that door sort of ha-hung fashion. You have a little smithy on what would once have been quite a busy road. The main road from Hawkshead down to Greenodd. Coach and horse route and all the rest of it. All that kind of thing bit of local history. Aye. So we've got the smithy, the old post office just across the way. fashioned telephone box to beat. I think this is about the angle of an old photograph that hangs in the pub showing the smith shoeing a horse with a barn behind without the camper van of course <laughs> 1697 this is on a different structure but the tools and uh, em emblems there symbols infer that this might have been a a smithy earlier perhaps. It's got all the gear there, hasn't it? Hammer tongs and a horseshoe. Wonder if that's if there was text up there. Something above the, the date, the numerals, there's some lettering. Can't work out what it says. This is, if you like, Oxen Park, the square you might call it, perhaps. Now isn't that the most elegantly presented sticky toffee pudding you've ever seen? <laughs> I've taken a bite out of it already, of course. Look at that! That's marvellous. This is, a, this is at the recently refurbished manor house. Great house at Oxen Park. And it's wonderful. <sighs> Popped in for a meal the other night after bike, bicycle riding Coniston Hawk's Head. We turned up here at about five to five. I was just looking at the, wind the menu through the window and the door popped open. Five o'clock they open. Thought, ah, well, they won't be doing food till seven or something, so, but I'll just pop in and have a look at the menu. But by the by, I asked, oh, do you happen to do food now? Yes. We spent about 10, 15 minutes choosing what to order. Ordered it and about 
I don't know, 15, 20 minutes after ordering, there was the food and we'd only just turned up on spec and the doors had only just opened. You can't beat that, can you? That's brilliant. You know. Service, prompt, excellent. And, and, just let these cars go by. Recently refurbished, last August I think they said, it's absolutely sumptuous in there, it really is. A carpet you could go to sleep on, it's like a mattress, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's wonderful. If you think I'm being a pig because Poppet's got now, she couldn't make up her mind, see? <laughs> so she's waiting to see what my sticky toffee pudding looks like before she orders one of herself, one for herself probably. <laughs> Curious feature and a stone in the wall. Looks like it's been a gate pintle or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe like a set stone for a ha hung gate where the bottom pintle sits in the ground and takes the weight of the gate and it swings around. Do you know what I mean? I'm just jibber jabbering. But that's obviously been repurposed, upcycled, they call it, that rock. And this here is Bandrake Head. Just a little street of cottages, just a little hamlet, obviously. But you know, look at the width of that street there. Just big enough for a horse and cart sort of thing. You fit a car, obviously, nowadays, but that's what it was built around. A horse and cart. And just here is the steep road up to Abbott Park and the campsite. say about those uh, mosses. You see in Oxham Park <coughs> there's no beck going through Oxham Park. The nearest beck is Colton Beck which is at the bottom of the valley, you know quite a bit away from Oxham Park, it doesn't run through it at all. <coughs> and even then that beck is a modest little trickle, it's got no potency to it really to drive water wheels or anything like that. So in Oxen Park there is no motive power for forge bellows or anything like that and yet there's all those mozzers loads of them let's say a ton or a couple of tons worth which can only have been carted from a long way away what the hell for? now a mozzer is just like the clinker and slag from the bottom of the furnace bowl you know, once you've tapped off all the iron, a mozzer is what you might get left with. Let's call it a pip, <laughs> a furnace pip. And you usually find them round furnace sites. <sighs> usually. But at Oxen Park, there's loads of them, but no furnace. That is the enigma that wants resolving.